sponsors of Dave's Tackle Box. And good evening, everybody. Remember me? I'm Dave. <laughs> I've uh, okay, so I've skipped a couple of weeks and then a couple of weeks before that as well. I was just thinking, uh, I've done one show in the last five weeks, which is like that's unheard of for me. <laughs> And uh, I'm trying to remember which buttons I'm supposed to press and stuff like that. And it's hard. But at least I'm talking to the right camera for a change. That's a good start. Now, um, I'll explain uh, where, where I've been. Okay, um, I did have a couple of days off, but literally a couple of days off work. Uh, but mostly I've been working like a dog, as the song says. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of back for the time being, at least. and uh, And hopefully... I won't miss many more shows until I do take some holiday, but that won't be for a while. So I've been, uh, I did take, like I said, I took a couple of days off. We had a nice uh, sort of weekend in Zurich uh, a couple of weeks ago. And then last week I went to see The Damned, as you do. But uh, I'm back now, I'm back. Now, just if you were watching the pre-show, uh, as this is going out live, obviously, there's been a few people drooling over this scene in chat. Because there's some some good stuff there, and that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. Um, let's get me mug back on the screen there. Um, but before anything else, I've also got a guest. Uh, I'm going to be joined by Tim uh, after a long absence from Dave's Tackle Box. Uh, he's back, and between us, we're going to look at these products and we're going to put the world to rights in the way that we generally try to do. But before any of that, we start with the titles. And we're on screen, and it's that camera over there. And hello, Tim. How are you, mate? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, it's been a while, Dave. It's been... It has. It's been, what, some months, yeah. I guess. So It has, yeah. yeah. So I'm just wondering, uh, is somebody laughing at us in chat? No, we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I got the right camera and everything. Look, I'm on a roll. Maybe I should take a break more often, mate. <laughs> I know. <don't. laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like the blind leading the blind tonight, isn't it? Really, I think it is. You know, I can't remember yeah. what to do. You know, we should just have a chat and sort of catch up on what we've been up to. I guess. Yeah, I think that's probably good. That, that, that will work. <laughs> Works for me, anyway. Okay. Yeah. Right. So yeah, everything technically seems to be working. That's great. Uh, I uh, I'll just pop that uh, camera shot interview again in place of you just for a second. I'm going to be talking okay. about uh, a couple of these bits and bobs as the show goes on, but there's no real sort of pre-arranged format this time, so we're just we're just going to go for it. So uh, you know, uh, we, we're going to talk about vape fest a bit, aren't we? Definitely, as because that is, that is like... of another era, old Crocs. Yeah, who uh, you know, sort of. Uh, you've been to all of the vape fest so far, haven't you? I have. Yeah, mate, I've been to them all. Yeah, yeah. Likewise. So, like uh, you, like yeah. And uh, and you're going yeah. along again this Saturday. Maybe we should cover Vape Fest first. Should we do Vape Fest first? Well, we started, so let's carry on. We may as well, mightn't we? Like sort of like yeah, a I think segue, so. seamless, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. seamless link into it. Yeah. yeah, okay, right. Yeah. So I I know we've 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 reminisced about the original Vape oh. Fest, what was organised by Cat and Sav and Cliffy and Dave yeah. and what have you, uh, way back in 2010. Um, yeah. 
and uh, I'd just been vaping a little while and um, uh, I didn't know anybody I'd not met a single vapor outside of the internet no. until that day and you were amongst the first people I met I um, was I was sitting down with Dave and Kat wasn't I and when you walked in with your fresh haircut that's right that's, yeah. <laughs> that's absolutely right and <laughs> funnily enough uh, all three vape fests so far oh no no two of them I've had to get my hair cut on the way <laughs> and I nearly did but I managed to nip out this morning and get my hair cut otherwise I'd have been doing it last, next week as well as I, <laughs> as I, I'm like fr flying in on the Friday night at the moment and um, and so like like yesterday I had to work all day even though it was from home so I got up this morning and thought Jesus mm. I need a haircut so uh, I thought, and I was actually thinking so shall I uh, shall I film some VTs for tonight or shall I go and get my hair cut um, or film mm. VTs as I say and go and get my hair cut on the way to vape fest next week and I thought nah, oh. <laughs> nah. it's too much hassle especially carrying cameras yes. and stuff so yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, but yeah, so, so I mean, vape fest. I think it's fair to say it's come a long way since those uh, those days. It says, yeah, it's oh, certainly has. Yeah, to say, turn Tim down a bit. Gosh, oh, unlucky, oh, mate. Unlucky. I've got one. I've got one of those as well. <laughs> Count to five for me, Tim. One, two, three, four, five. And again. One, two, three, four, five. I reckon that'll be a lot better now. So I'll yeah, just uh, cool. wait for confirmation of that. But uh, I think we should be better. Yeah, you got a new okay. mic? <laughs> uh, no, it's same same mic. Um, it's it's not even in a different position. <laughs> it's still about a foot and a half away from me, over my head. So, no, it's the same one. Okay, people seem to be in general agreement that it's better now. So, it's better. Good. You can't be louder than the host. You know that. You know the rules. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, 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 I'll whisper if I have to right <laughs> now, as we were saying <laughs> um, it's Vape Fest has come quite a long way and uh, uh, since, since uh, the early days um, somebody and I'm not sure who it is actually has put together a little Vape Fest trailer actually so uh, I'll play that trailer it's only a minute and a bit longer oh. I think uh, and whilst I'm doing that I'm sure Chris will tell me who made it and we'll give them credit for it but here we go from uh, from the 60 people, was it, at the first one? Uh, there's some I've footage in this trailer that, that, that yeah. I shot, actually. So it gives you a flavour yeah. of the number of people that turn up at these things these days. And we're back okay and yes i confirmed it was chris aka cat that made that trailer uh so well done cat i think that sets the scene beautifully and it's true people yep. do come by plane and train and planes trains and automobiles that was a film wasn't it and yes, probably it boats yep. as well although you'd have to walk the last bit because i don't know whether you know that tamworth is very close to burton on trent uh i live right, right. by burton on trent and that's the furthest on, in the British Isles that you can get from the sea. Did you know that? 
No, I didn't know. No, that. I didn't know that until I saw it on some <laughs> documentary some time ago. Yeah. So um, yeah. it's quite good. We don't have problems with corrosion or anything, but you're a bit knackered if you want to come by boat. So. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yes, yeah, so anyway, uh, so, so I think that sets the scene uh, brilliantly. And I was I, I saw that trailer myself uh, this afternoon for the first time. And uh, a lot of the footage, actually, was uh, I took it at last year. And um, and, and it, last year it was a bit overwhelming in, in a lot of ways, the sheer number of people there. Um, yeah. But the guys yeah. that, that organise this, and that, uh, it's, it's mostly Wayne, um, who was also at the first Vape Fest, um, and he's organised the uh, the three synths. Uh, he's the main sort of uh, the guy fronting it, I believe. But I know that he gets a lot of help uh, from Fiona and Scott Bonner and Jay. Did always does the website and stuff. And uh, yeah. and yeah, let's hope they because they they had a lot less time to organise it this time, didn't they? They did. They and, did. Uh, I, th- I, um, think- I think it's going to be the same same layout format as well, isn't it? So it's not like it's been made. Yeah. To, to accommodate another marquee full of people it's going to be same layout as last year uh I, do you know what i'm not actually sure that the, the uh, I, I did exchange a few sort of messages with wayne because i was hoping that we could do a vttv broadcast uh live on the day but uh but they just don't have the bandwidth they just don't have the bandwidth to do it unfortunately um you know they, they've just got some kind of broadband and wi-fi which you'll be sharing with everybody updating facebook and everything like that so we decided not to but i'm going to take the camera along and grab a bit of footage see if i can get 10 minutes worth of vt for those that can't make it um but for those that who, who could make it if they tried um you know what would you recommend going Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, it's something that's on my calendar for as many years as it's going to run. I'm, I'm never ever going to miss one. Um, it's a, it's a, it's about meeting the other vapors as well, because I mean, a lot of people, especially the newbies this year, are going to be the same as we were in 2010. Yeah, not ever met anybody outside of a forum or well, anything. Uh, with, so with, it's going to be a, a huge experience. It's funny you should mention that because you know uh, they, they'll be like we were in 2010, except they have mm. like a thousand times more choices. For gear than yeah. they did in 2000. 2010, I, I was actually sort of fairly cutting edge when I walked in with my mm. screwdriver with a Bogue cartomizer yeah. attached. The amount of people who, you know, who'd been vaping for a while before that who were asking me about the cartomizer and was it any good? You know? Yeah. <laughs> and you look back now, you know, if, if, you, if you walk into Vape Fest with a setup like that these days, somebody would try and, uh, try and persuade you to upgrade it, wouldn't they? <laughs> Imme- immediately. I mean, we all, I think we all had Bose cartomizers. I mean, I had them on, um, it, was, uh, it was it was Tornado batteries, because the Tornado battery had only come out at the beginning of that year. That's so right. So there was me, I had, a, I had a bag full of Tornado batteries, a bag of cartomizers, and uh, yeah, that was that was my that was my cutting edge kit as well. <laughs> exactly. I I, I mean uh, I remember uh, swapping uh, some RY four and a very small amount of cash for uh, um, the totally wicked stick. Do you remember that eight oh one thing yeah. Yeah, with you? Yeah, that's the yes, first trade I yeah. think that was. And uh, <laughs> yes, I was I was robbed. I was absolutely robbed. You pretty much were. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please. My first experience of meeting you, and you fleeced me within minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 that, that sounds right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to say, but, but it was it, to be to be honest, it wasn't a good bit of gear, was it? So it, it wasn't. It wasn't. I mean, it was kind of okay. I remember um, um, uh, using it a little bit on a plane oh. because it was so sort of palmable. But like the problem yeah. with it was, you know, I mean, it was fine. I was flying to Northern Ireland at the time. What's the flight length? About thirty minutes or something. Yeah. And uh, I can remember um, it being quite useful for that. But of course, by the t- even after like sort of thirty minutes of use, stealthily on a plane, the damn thing like it was a ten four forty battery, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, but uh, but th- there wasn't yeah. a great deal of choice about, was there? I mean, you meant you mentioned the tornado right. there. I mean, I, I I started vaping almost three years ago. It was the beginning of September, so it were, it's almost three years ago now. And by then there was the, um, it's funny, I, I had cause to look back at an old blog entry. I did a review of the screwdriver uh, earlier yeah. today because somebody was hotlinking my pictures. <laughs> and I went back and I wrote that. I wrote that in sort of late September 2010 and, uh, and I used the term tornig over. That's it, yes. Yeah. I remember that one. <laughs> Which was like a, a blend of the words tornado 
Reva yeah. and Ego, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Torno- yeah. Uh, Tornado, Ego, and Reva, and they they were like the uh, the sort of pretty much the uh, the best mainstream kit going, weren't they? Yeah, there were mods, were. but yeah. uh, but but they they were the things that that everybody was using. Well, yeah, they say the mods came with the raffle, didn't they, for you? And I bought one as soon as I got home. And that was the icon. Yes. Yes, that's a nice. Mm. That's a nice segue as well. I'm just because uh, this is, thing yeah. that I'm about to review is also called the icon. So, but I won the icon in the raffle there, uh, if you remember, yeah. and uh, th- th- yeah. that, that's what sort of uh, got me uh, sort of hooked on mods. All I have to say, I mean, I've been out shopping this morning and get me hair cut and stuff. And what did I take with me? An ego. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, with an evod on the top, which was would have been like a sort of fanciful. Uh, idea and concept in those days wouldn't yeah. it the idea of Certainly some kind of tank yeah. i know i know and now, and now like think, there's yeah. what how many different choices so far too many so i don't really envy new vapors who are looking at uh, you know uh, okay there's there's loads of the siggy like stuff around now and we're, we're going to be looking at something uh, that, that, that that fits that category very shortly um but the um the the sheer choice of stuff once you start looking at the online shops at the moment uh, it must confuse the hell out of people mm. so. i mean it's, it's the same with people when they walk into the shop um the, the confusion is there because i mean now i mean every manufacturer is dishing out eight different variations of tank they all take different <laughs> bloody wicks and <laughs> some you true. fill from the bottom some you fill from the top some you need a syringe for it's it's you know it is a little bit daunting uh, for for the new vapor. I mean, one person hit the nail on the head. I just want an electronic cigarette, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and just t- I, I tell me what I need. Tell me what I need, and I went, yes, that. <laughs> and I sympathise with them. I absolutely mm. do. I mean, I mean, uh, things like um, uh, sort of Genesis atomizers. In fact, rebuildables of any kind were yeah. ridiculous. Um, I remember. I remember the GGTS uh, was there. The the, the sort of uh, an updated version of that. Um, because uh, Cam from Easy London, who was selling them at the time, he was at Vape Fest, wasn't he? Yeah. And they raffled yeah, one. He was off on the table had... behind us. Yeah, he was uh, in the table behind us. And back in... that was in the days when you could actually just walk up to somebody and buy one. There wasn't all these sort of panic and and sort of queuing for months and all the ridiculous second-hand prices of them as that there are these days. Um, but it wasn't until the following February, at the uh, at the mini meet at the same venue, that we got the prototypes of the UFS. Do you remember the the uh, the, the feed system and that and that was kind yeah. of like you know, wow, you know, here's a self-feeding tank system, and that was pretty much the first we, th- we thought of it, because nobody thought of Carto tanks at that point or anything, had they? No, no, <laughs> not so. no there, was, there was nothing. It was, it was Carto's or bust, really, that was it. <laughs> it was, it was, you know, uh, and, and uh, the, the, the connoisseur, the juice connoisseur was dripping a lot. Yes, indeed. <laughs> dripping directly onto the atomizer, or dripping even, yeah. with the 306. Yeah, yes. blimey. So we sound like a right couple of old farts here, Tim. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still do a bit of dripping. I think I might be doing that in a minute with some DY4. <laughs> I, I do to uh, test. I, I yeah. you know uh, if if I'm testing juices and stuff, or or um, you know if, if people send me juice to try every now and then, and uh, that's what I do. I just drip. It's the easiest mm. thing. I've got um, an IO6 atomizer lying around somewhere. I tend to use okay. that. So. Yeah. Which is one of those sort of freaky 306s that I got called out on for calling it a big 306. Big 306, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just use the, I just use a little octopus thing because I think they're really good and they're very cheap. Which what, what, that's a dripper of some kind. Yeah, that's there. It's a little. Which one's that? That's the well. It's it's the octopus on most sites. Um, right. TW called it a DD direct dripping atomizer DDA. Right. I mean, it's under a tenner. And it's uh, it's really quite good. I've got several sort of dripping atomizers. They all seem to come in those little metal tins. Mm. Uh, I've, I've, I must have three or four of them lying around. And I take the lid off and look at them and think, oh, yeah, I'll review that one day. And it's just like building up and building up the, this stuff I've got. Mm. By the time I get round to it, they've been surpassed, you know. So- That's right. 
I think Andy Sutton reviewed this one. I think Andy reviewed this I one. Do, I do. I do vaguely recall. He, he couldn't get a drip tip in it or something, so he thought he didn't need to have one. <laughs> right. Yeah, that sounds a bit yeah. like Andy, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I worry about that boy sometimes. I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there we go. So, so I mean, just just to wind up this little point then on Vape Fest, uh, you know, yeah. Tim saying, get yourself along. It doesn't matter if you're an experienced vapor and you just want to sort of meet people. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I actually look forward to meeting people that I haven't seen since the last one. You same know? here. Yeah, same um, here. It is a community that we're a part of, guys. If you're watching this show, then the chances are that you're, uh, you know, that, that, that you'll know half the people. <laughs> at, at, at the event um you know it's great to see but you know the youtube reviewers and the vendors it's great to meet them uh come along buy me a drink uh <laughs> you know but, but, uh, and so i've actually got to I'll, I'll be there early but i've got to shoot off fairly early this year uh well, last year i left and went to the village you remember and then came back again <laughs> yeah yeah you did yeah <laughs> well fortunately <laughs> Again, they've picked the opening day of the uh, Premier League season to, to, to stage it. Yeah. Um, but the Villa are away at Arsenal this year, so, oh, well. so I'm not going there. But what I am doing is going to the missus's birthday celebration in the evening. So she's picking me up and we're going uh, we're going into Birmingham for the night. So, uh, But I'll be there for the, the majority of the day. And I haven't yeah. won a raffle like, now for some time. So maybe 2013 yeah. you need, you need is my to. year. Yeah, I think it probably will be, Dave. I mean, last last year was bad luck. Somebody must have taken your tickets. I think I think Russell took your tickets. I think. Well, if you recall, because I had to go to the match, I gave my raffle tickets yeah. to Dougie, and he came up like, uh -huh. zip, zilch. Zip. You know, yeah, so uh, I shan't be trusted him again. That's for sure. <laughs> anyway, we better take a break. We better take a break. Mm -hmm. Oh, before we go, just uh, one last thing. Ry Four Radio. Are you uh, are you intending to try and broadcast something on the day? I know you, you were talking about something Absolutely. the night before, were you? Well, I'm going to try to because I'm going straight up to. I'm going to get myself because I'm staying in Faisley at the Plough on Harrow, um, and I'm going to zip back at Tamworth Arms with my laptop under my arm, and hopefully Skype into a show that's going out on our Wi-Fi on Friday night. So fingers crossed for that. It might not be till last knock-ins, but I'm going to try and do it anyway. Um, but definitely on the Saturday, I'm going to be doing a uh, six till. Uh, about half past seven, live from the bar, like I did last year. Um, Brilliant, because the the, ban the bandwidth is enough for us to do that. We can get away with it. I may have left by then, but um, you know, uh, all the best with that, because yeah, bandwidth yeah. is always the uh, the thing, mm. isn't it? Um, but yeah. uh, just just for, uh, in case anybody doesn't know, Tim runs a radio show called RY4 Radio, and uh, I've got a little trailer of it here. Uh, we'll have a quick look at that, and then we'll take our first commercial break. Uh, see you in a couple mm. of minutes.
sponsors of Dave's Tackle Box. And welcome back. Uh, yeah, so uh, that that was uh, Tim, and he's still around. You can maybe just see him actually. If I move that microphone out of the way, look, you can see him. He's he's, in, he's, in, he's down there. Look. <laughs> um, but I've just uh, kicked him off the screen for a minute because I need the screen real estate. I'm just going to cut over to uh, this shot again, and um, these these are some things that that I've been sent. And and I was saying before, I've got so much stuff. That I'm supposed to be uh, taking a look at so much new gear. I still haven't gone through any of the stuff uh, that I brought back from the knees meet, and uh, just 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 to, <laughs> to show you how bad it is, uh, I've got this is the the uh, Cyan Mods uh, True Stone drip tip. It's still in the bag. <laughs> I've got this rope that somebody gave me at the knees meet, and uh, and like ribbon wire and all sorts, and it's all sitting there waiting for me to find time to do something with it and i will get to it all um y you may also have noticed that i've put a new shelf up so one with a little bit more substance it's uh it's got room for all my mods and room for more but uh chris cat brought me this thing which is the uh, i think it's well, what is it probably says on it it's the uh i taste SVD. Do you remember she was saying she thought it was a bit fugly? And um, I have actually used it a little bit, but um, I haven't yet really used it properly and had time to, to have a proper look at it. But I'm going to get to all of this stuff. There's loads of stuff up there. I got this uh, this telescopic thing here as well. But tonight we're definitely going to look at these things, okay? And I'm going to start start just by moving this lovely pipe and i will tell you all about what these pipes are and you can see they are actually proper lovely i'm going to have a look at this thing first this is the rock icon okay now uh greg forster at rock uh has always been a big supporter of uh, vapor trails tv and uh as well as being a really nice guy who i enjoy sort of shooting the breeze with uh has lately been sending me uh, a number of products that are sent along remember the stogie cigar thing and then there was the uh the the rock legend the tank system um well he sent me this thing along and and to be honest with you i've i've read the leaflet and i've charged it up and that's about as far as i've got with it i opened it all this morning even though he sent it a while ago um but if i get onto the uh main camera there and hold this up what we've got is a pcc a personal charging case and inside we have what the term that we use quite commonly for these things is cigar like uh sort of little uh e6 let's uh get along there you go that's a better look uh it's quite a nice charging case actually uh it, it's uh it's it's not hugely featured but I'm not convinced that's a bad thing, to be honest with you. You uh, recharge it with a mini USB cable, obviously, that's provided. You get three lights on here when the case is charged. And you charge your battery in probably the simplest way possible. Uh, you push it in and hold it for a few seconds. You see it flashes to say it's charging. And then on the bottom there, you can see the PCC's got three lights on. It's full. The, uh, what they call the battery stem has also got three lights that's charged it's been in there a while so I've got one here that I assembled uh, it's uh, a cartomizer arrangement and these are the tobacco flavored ones so in the kit I got sent there were three tobacco I think there were 16 uh, milligram strength liquid in there there's uh, there were three tobacco ones and then some other flavors which I'll I'll have to dig out the box because I can't remember. I know one was cherry, one was vanilla, and I haven't really done much with them at all yet, other than just check it worked earlier. You can see it's branded with Rock. Uh, it has some information about uh, over 18s and use at your own risk, which is an interesting message, and the don't chuck it in the bin logo. Now after after uh, I last mentioned the don't chuck it in the bin logo, somebody told me the proper name for it and I've forgotten it already. So, uh, 
<laughs> what were you Can't laughing at? Can't help that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, just just to uh, pop Tim on screen there, you can see he thinks that's amusing. <laughs> so, um, anyway, yeah, so, so th this is... Uh, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to say it's another PC. See, and I'm sure Greg probably won't thank me too much for promoting his product as another PC. See, um, it's quite a neat one. Um, it's about the size of a mobile phone, I would say. It's very slim. It's you could shove it in the back pocket of your jeans, but I wouldn't probably want to sit down then. It's uh, quite sort of hard plastic. Uh, it's very simple. It's pro possibly uh, amongst the simplest I've seen. There's no button to press or anything. You literally just stick the battery in, as I showed you, and it's done. And uh, there we go. Uh, if you do it properly. Yeah, just I said it simple and then didn't do it right. Yeah, there we go. So, and there's there's space for oh there we go. Look, it's flashing away now, and charging. Little lights on the bottom, and you can put an assembled one in there as well. So you can use it as a carry case. So I think the idea is, if you want, uh, I was hoping you could flip it then, but you probably could if you had nails. Yeah. Flip it. Use it. Blue light on the end. Um, tobacco is, it's okay. It's okay, the flavor's all right. Uh, the cartomizers come with like little sort of uh, labels on them that you have to peel off. So you know what's used and what isn't. And uh, and I would say that that's one good thing. You can have a fully assembled one in there whilst one's on charge. So the idea is, um, oh, there it goes again because I pressed it. Um, behave. <laughs> um, <laughs> the uh, the idea is you can have one on charge and when this one's flat you just swap them over i guess so i'm not actually sure but i might just have a quick look to see how many milliamp hours the oh it says on the size so it's an 1100 milliamp hour capacity pcc and the batteries sure. looking at them are going to be a couple of hundred milliamp hours i guess aren't they yeah something yeah. like somewhere between 150 and 200 looking at the size of them so um other than that, it's like a lot of PCCs that we've seen before. Like I say, it is quite sleek. It is quite nice. Um, but I thought it might be a, a good leading to talk about PCCs because obviously I, I, the, the, there's a danger on a lot of the, on this show sometimes. I, I, I haven't looked at uh, at uh, chat yet, but there'll be people talking about, I'm sure, <laughs> and I hope I don't get proved a liar now, you know, that, that they, they don't last long enough and, you know, get rid of that. Get yourself an Ego or a Mod or something like that, uh, or a Vamo or whatever the current flavour of the moment is. Um, yeah. I, I've always tried not to be, you know, sort of snobby about these things because I, I know a lot of people that, and, and I've given examples on the show before where I've given them an Ego or something. They just won't use it because they feel very self-conscious. They actually want something that they can stand in the smoking shelter during a break at work uh, that looks like a fag. <laughs> Um, yeah. we, we we complain about that this has got a blue light on it but we complain about the ones that glow red because they can be confused with like a real cigarette and people will tell you to not use it uh, even though legally you can uh, but some people actually want that now uh, I'll, I'll pop uh, this under the close up camera again and hopefully you'll be able to see um, that if I can get it to focus it's it's not going to do it but it actually does have like a pattern around it like a cigarette paper as well so i mean it does actually look like a cigarette there's no denying that uh, some people think it's uh, that's a bad thing some people actually want this i know rock they're a very successful company they're only selling this because it's what people want um so who am i to disagree um pccs i mean I did a thing with Dougie quite recently. There was an Inikin. It was the AIO PCC, do you remember? And that, that yeah, had like yeah. a 510 uh, cartomizer and everything. I don't think this is a 510. I've got an old ego here. It is. It's 510 thread. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it working on an ego battery. Yeah. A, a very old and battered yeah. ego battery. Very old. Paint flaking off on a... It's actually a tornado, I think. But, um... Uh, so it's a 510. I mean, tell me, what do you think about them, Tim? Um, well, I've, when they first arrived on the market, I, I got one of the very first ones, which back in those days was the uh, the, the IntelliSig Evo one. 
Mm -hmm. um, that was one of the first ones to come out, which, which was a smart charger. Not, in not fact, like you the showed original. me that at Vapefest 2010. Yeah. I did. I did, yeah. It's I've still got, got that in my relic box. Yeah, got that in my relic box. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a very good idea because, of course, in those days, the batteries were the big problem. And I mean, I think we probably disproved the, the battery thing when we did the e-roll thing. You remember when you did the yeah. when you used the e-roll for a day? I mean, that sort of disproved that the battery is a problem. If you use it properly and sensibly, you can get away with it. Uh, I do like PCCs. I like the e-roll. Um, I've seen one very, very similar to the, to the Rock one. Um, it's a similar size case, slim as well but it did have a screen on the front yeah it had a screen on the front the one i saw it, and this simply the has bottom. leds on the bottom other than that yeah. it's pretty low yeah. tech and, and i actually think but that'll appeal to a lot of people to be honest it's going to it's going to appeal to it's going to appeal to the new vapors especially the ones that want the ciggy um that like you're saying just now the ones that want the ciggy likes that would that will work for them and that's quite smart as well i mean that that could slip into your jacket pocket to go to the pub um of an evening or whatever um and all the time the battery, all the time the, the case is charged, you're never going to run out, are you? So, well, that's an iPhone five, and it's yeah. like marginally thicker, but it's actually dimensions-wise, it's smaller than the iPhone five. So, yeah, yeah. So I'd say it's probably no, a I've, bit I've fatter always, than an iPhone always, four, if that helps anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've always been a fan. I've I do, I do like the PCCs, and I mean, I'm. When I when I go out now, I mean I I will take the e roll with me more mm -hmm. so than uh, more so than a big handful of mods. Um, and I've generally got one in my, in my pocket, but I mean most of the time I will I will use that because it's just so easy to manage for the night. Um, and as long as you've got a bottle of juice with you, I know, or, or some spare cartos in that case, because I mean, mm. uh, what, what, what are they? They 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 two mil cartos. I don't less. actually know how many mil they are. Let's have a look. They come in little boxes of three. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see if it says they 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 often don't do they? No. Um, it's got ordering details, obviously. Yeah. Rock Universal. Oh, there you go. Point eight mil each. Really? Yeah. So not point eight mil, so not much, basically. I don't know how no. much these are retailing for. I mean, that that's the the, the biggest sort of put off for me with this style. Uh, uh, of easy to be honest with you is, is yeah. that, that it stands to reason that if you're buying cartomizers at three at a time and looking at it you might be able to get them five a time off the website this might just be yeah. for the starter kit or something um but the um it, it stands to reason that this is not going to be an economic way no. to refill it um no and you know, 0 0.8 mil of juice, even in a poor cartomizer, that cartomizer is going to be good to go for a long time after it's empty the first time, isn't it? Certainly is. So yeah. they, they come with um, a little silicon cap on the bottom. Like I say, they, they um, they've got like a bit of tape over the top, which you can probably just about make out. You can see it there. You peel off for the mouthpiece end, but there's like a little sort of silicon condom thing on the end here. Um, mm -hmm. You probably would struggle actually to refill that using the old condom method. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's see how easily the uh, the cap pops off it, shall we? Dead easy. Oh, and straight so off. it is refillable. So yeah, that's yeah. refillable as far as I'm concerned. Sorry, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> good, for, good for five goes at least. <laughs> but that can be refilled, um, I would say, until it like wimps off. So that would make it a bit more economical. Uh, look, this for me is not actually my kind of thing. Like even the e-roll, which is like sort of same sort of form factor. Maybe the e-roll's a bit smaller than this. I haven't actually got it within yeah, reach. It or, is. Otherwise, I compare it. Um, but this one with the rib pattern and everything on it, that. <laughs> I don't need that anymore after nearly three years of using things like egos and mods and stuff like that. Yeah. But but I know. In fact, in fact, I'm I'm off out with a a, a few people who've tried a couple of e-cigs that I've given them next Saturday night after Vape Fest. We're going for a meal. We're going to Jules Holland's place in Birmingham, the Jam House, and they will be nipping out for a fag, and I'll be using this at the table. <laughs> <laughs> so I might take this along, I, I, and and I'll do a little experiment without them knowing. Yeah. And I'll see if they're more inclined to try this than the ego. Remember, I, you might have seen uh, at Christmas, I, I won a bunch of uh, egos with CE3 uh, clearamizer things uh, in oh, yes, Gary's yes, raffles. That. 
Do you remember? Yeah. And um, I, I, uh, I, I have no use for those things, to be honest with you. I'm quite happy with the stuff that I've got. So I tend to give them to people if they say, oh, what is that an e-cig, what they like? You know, can I try it? I'll say, here, try that. And they, I gave them to them on Boxing Day and they brought them back on New Year's Eve. <laughs> they actually returned okay. both of them, the t- two separate <laughs> women, right? And they tried them there yeah. on the night thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they actually brought them back and there was like about hardly any juice gone from what I'd given them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, New Year's Eve. So some people, that's what they want, I reckon. So I, I, yeah. I'll, I'll probably uh, sort of give this away next Saturday night and see how it goes on. But yeah, uh, yeah. it ticks. It ticks all the boxes, doesn't it? For some people, it does. And and I have to say, compared yeah. to the other PCCs that I've tried, this one's good. I do like the form factor. Well, I have to say, the AIO uh, was wasn't isn't much thicker than that. I don't think. No. Um, that was a special bit of kit there. Yeah, um, let's. I've got, I've got the uh, the blurb from Rock here. Um, I mean, it's, the, one thing I would say about Rock is the the, the service there is 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 totally excellent. Uh, you do get the two batteries, which is nice. Uh, it's apparently the RRP is going to be forty five quid, but they're doing a launch price of forty. So. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll have a word with Greg and see see how many of these things he's shifting. Yeah. Um, but I, I do see that he's probably found, you know there probably is a market for those to be honest but oh. Oh. No, but I'm going to put this I down remember. now and pick up my GP Paps with my Fagatti sort of GP Paps custom base <laughs> Genesis Atomizer Yeah, I think I'll probably keep this one given the choice, if I'm honest. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, yeah, we're flying through this, you know. We're going to run out of time if we're not careful. Uh, it's course. time for yet another break. But before I do that, uh, I just wanted to say, uh, Dave Dawn, I don't know whether he's getting to watch any of this stuff, um, but uh, if you're sitting by the pool there in, where is it, Lanzarote he goes to, isn't it? Yeah, it is Lanzarote. Somewhere yeah. hot, yeah. Uh, the guys, the, while he's away, it appears the lunatics have indeed taken over the <laughs> asylum. I may regret saying that, but <laughs> but I have been so off the grid for the last few weeks, I haven't actually seen this yet. But uh, there's a thing going out on Wednesday nights in place of VT Talk called Team Talk. And uh, here's yet another trailer that Chris put together to give you a taste of that. And then we'll take uh, another break after that. So again, see you in a couple of minutes. Great. Oh, All I can see is Sam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I talk a lot. I'm sorry. Hello and welcome to the Here's I forgot the second half of that sentence. I've got to have a word. <laughs> I forgot how to continue. <laughs> yeah, the Here's I sponsored by Sip6. Have we still got viewers? Mm. Yeah, we've got 87 currently watching. I've got 88. Yeah, I've got 88. Yeah, I did. Yeah, so not she was not him, watching that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that's right. I was looking at the wrong screen.
and welcome back again so yeah team talk looks like a bit of a hoot actually <laughs> so uh, as it happens they've actually sorted out the wi-fi at the hotel i'm at um uh which has been one of the reasons i've been getting back very very late after the shows have finished most nights from work but um but uh hopefully that's going to ease off a bit after this weekend and uh, maybe i'll actually get to watch some stuff for the first time um but there's one more thing uh, that i specifically want to look at tonight and that is uh we're going to go back to that sort of sexy camera shot which yeah. is a little bit depleted now but you can still see that i have some very fine examples of pipes here now these pipes have one thing in common and uh, and that is that they are made by a guy called Romaniac, whose real name is Alexander Gurk. And um, you, may, if, if you've been watching my YouTube videos or VTTV for a long time, you've got to go back a couple of years. And you may remember me reviewing this thing. And this is the Jazz Carto pipe. And uh, the light isn't really playing nicely there, is it? um let's get it up on the uh the other camera here in fact even better let's go for this camera here there we go that is the uh the original jazz carto pipe now when alexandra first started making these uh there wasn't really anything quite like it about um if you take this off inside you've got a bogue cartomizer or you know a, a 510 cartomizer that screws into the stem and uh i mean it's just absolutely beautifully crafted um it is a gorgeous pipe and i made a real big deal out of it because i absolutely love this thing and i still use it fairly regularly um very simple sort of mechanism it takes uh, an 18350 sort of size battery um a spring at the bottom in there and the the this being uh, one of the early ones um you can see the top there's just like a little copper sort of connector that swings across to make the positive connection and then the switch that's the switch to operate it and what i really liked about this is because the, the, there's been like e-pipes around as long as i've been vaping sort of over three years but a lot of them had a, a fairly sort of tacky sort of red glowing plastic bowl or try, you know a bit like uh the, the 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 red lights on the end of the the cigar likes like that and it just I thought they looked a little bit naff. And then there were other ones where like, basically once the battery was dead, you had to bin it. Some of the, the, the Chinese made ones. So when Alexander brought these out, I thought this was brilliant. You replace the cartomizer when you want, uh, recharge, uh, you know, replace the batteries. And, and it's just a very nice. Very nice pipe indeed. Now, uh, Looks like I'm going to have some problems switching the cameras again because it's being a pain. Hmm. Here we go. Do it. Come on, do it. I want to go to camera two now. Yay, we got there in the end. So that's um, the, the original one that's a couple of years old. Now, he's revamped them now. I should tell you a little story here. Uh, I've stayed in touch with Alexandra uh, since, since, since I reviewed that pipe. Um, and he's uh, he's currently uh, sort of um, uh, he's been talking to Darren at Safer Sigs, and I, I just want to say a message. I caught a, a post about Daz at Safer Sigs while I was away, so he's had a bit of a health scare. Uh, I understand he's on the mend, but uh, just uh, best wishes from uh, from me and obviously everybody at Vapor Trails TV. Daz, I'm sure it's been said on air already, but you know, uh, look after yourself, mate, and uh, let, let's see you. Uh, back to yourself sooner rather than later um but i'm delighted to say that daz has now hooked up with alexandra and you can buy these jazz carto pipes from safersigs.co.uk and and alex as i say i've stayed in touch with him and he's uh, a lovely guy and he sent me along a couple of examples of the the new ones that he's made i'm going to start with this one um now this one, and I had to write down the names of them because I've hardly had a chance to look at them beyond like just, just pop a battery and a cartomizer in. This is kind of uh, a variant of the new one, but uh, of, of the one I had before. Uh, although you can see it's got a much deeper bowl. 
and uh, this this goes by the name. That's the original Jazz Carto pipe. This one is uh, is called the Kicked eighteen five hundred Jazz, uh, which gives you a bit of a clue as to what's special about it. But first, I'll show you that these change the button design. It's a much nicer button design now. Uh, that's evolved very nicely, and instead of just the little copper contact that's across the top, there's a proper plate on there now which is a lot more robust because that thing like you know if the battery if you're using a big battery then it did put a, quite a lot of pressure on the on that on that copper contact so i think this this is a lot more robust than the original ones still looks absolutely amazing as far as i'm concerned and obviously the the clue the kicked 18500 gives you gives you a clue uh you can use it with an 18500 battery or you can use it with an 18350 and a kick <laughs> so uh, I think that pretty much makes it perfect <laughs> it's brilliant again it uses the same sort of setup as the old one uh, cartomizer inside and uh, nice mouthpiece and that is lovely and that is going to get one hell of a lot of use I'm sure that it's just just fits perfectly in the palm of your hand. I mean, look. <laughs> I do like that. So, uh, and I, th I think, you know, they're, they're, they're very usable. Now, a, a proper pipe smoker obviously doesn't uh, doesn't actually inhale <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the smoke in the same way as a cigarette smoker does. But uh, obviously, I do. <laughs> and it's just like using a cartomizer on, uh, on, on a mod of choice, obviously. But uh, there's something something quite satisfying and sophisticated and I, I was talking with tim earlier and he was saying because he's going to talk about a pipe in a minute as well and he was saying it's good to point pipes are very good for, for pointing at things in so you stop it <laughs> so there's something very satisfying about a pipe especially when you get to our age 18 indeed, <laughs> indeed mate yeah <laughs> but, uh, the, the undisputed star that i've got here is this thing right this is called the 18350 Isis Shorty. And there are, there are other variations of this Isis Bowl on the Safer Sig site because I had a look earlier. And uh, what I like about this one, and let's see if I can get this undone without making a pig's ear of it. This is slightly different. The, uh, the 510 uh, thread isn't recessed down deep to take a cartomizer like the others this one's specifically designed to take something like a carto tank this is actually uh, a big daddy or i think this is the little mama configuration carto tank uh which i think came from i vapor if i remember rightly but i've had it ages anyway and that's uh it takes an 18350 battery and then the uh, stem that i've got on this uh, uh on the safer sig site he's calling it the uh, jazz carto church stem and it is like a church warden style obviously um and that that basically has a 510 drip fit fitting so you can stick it into your carto tank you could put a genesis atomizer in there and uh, let's face it i'm gonna have to try that <laughs> <laughs> you might get a few flooding problems with it, given the oh, shape yeah. of it and what have you but uh, but it's got to be worth a go um so i'm using it there obviously uh with a carto tank uh again this is an 18350 uh battery so you know to, to change the battery is easy you just pop it in and slide that across like that and and this thing is just i mean like that's great in it sizzle test it's, uh, <laughs> and uh let's get this up on camera if I, let's get a real proper close-up for this one so I mean, Gandalf or what? <laughs> what do you reckon to that, Tim? I'll hold it up so you can see it as I, well. I do, like, I do like, I do like that. That looks really nice. I mean, I didn't even think about pipes until a couple of, you know, back earlier this week. It was the first time I actually thought about it. <laughs> so it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so, so you've not tried one yet? Um, no, I have tried one because uh, we, we had, we had one land in the shop at the beginning of the week and I unboxed it on Saturday. That's how excited I was about a pipe. I didn't unbox it till Saturday. Um, but uh, do you know what? It's just something about it. It's just a totally different vape. And it was, it just, 
it, it felt quite good. It must be the age thing. It probably is. It, it probably must is. be. <laughs> it must be. I'm just looking, uh, and they appear to be in stock and everything. Uh, I'm just looking at the ISIS. Um, I think you have to buy the stem separately. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Because this is the ISIS shorty, because the, the ones on the uh, Safer Six website, they've got a, a longer stem. So that could be even better with this sort of configuration, couldn't it? It could be even bigger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, I, I can see this getting a ton of views. I mean, it's just lovely. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. That's <laughs> oh, yeah, no, great. It's great. Uh, they all appear to be in stock. He's, he's got uh, several sort of designs in stock there. There's the uh, the Isis number one, the Isis eighteen three hundred and fifty, and the Isis number four of this this style. Then he's also got the original Jazz. But it's got the upgraded button compared to what I've got. I must say this yeah. button's never failed me, incidentally. But the new one does look a bit look more, a bit more substantial. Yeah. And uh, and mm. then he's got the eighteen five hundred and the, the the kicked version as well. Um, but they're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. No, it does. It does sound like there's going to be a little bit of pipe investment from me at some stage. <laughs> I, th I, th I think it might be a, yeah. a vape fest pipe edition on Saturday. Yes, yes, it will be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Daz is in chat. Welcome back, Daz. How are you doing, mate? Oh, yes, yeah. Oh. There you go. You're saying he's got a new stock arriving this week in time for Vape Fest. Now, I, I can tell you, like, you know, I mean, uh, if you go check out the Safer Sig site, uh, they, these things, are there, they start at £110, so they're not cheap. But I think um, if you look at the... the, 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 the I mean, they're faultless. They're just flawless. Mm. I love this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Shuts me up as well, which is good. <laughs> five, five minutes of Dave vaping on his pipe. Hey, there's videos like that on YouTube, if you look at them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, uh, if you, you put up uh, vaping video reviews of you sort of blowing vapour and stuff like that, that I, I never knew this, yeah. but there is actually, uh, there is, um, uh, uh, shall we say, a type of individual who are quite into smoking and not in the way that you think. <laughs> so, uh, okay. uh, so sometimes like people subscribe to you on YouTube and you think you check out the link and you think, oh, my God, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. It was a bit of an eye opener, actually. Some of some of the people that follow you when you do vaping reviews. Do <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Uh. And yes, they do. There, there are videos out there just of people smoking in a provocative manner. Apparently, oh, that's scary, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check that out now. My mind is thinking all sorts of things. So I'm gonna have to have a look at that later. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't say you weren't warned. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Uh, We've actually coming towards the end of this. I'm uh, just looking have... at uh, comments in chat there. Romaniac makes a church warden pipe that takes a Penelope. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh. I haven't seen that, but I, I know before I do that it will be absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know, I, I, I like the guy. I like the way he does his business. I like the way that he's uh, done the partnership with Daz. Uh, it, it, he was so concerned about service that he, uh, you know, he didn't tout it around for the best offer or anything like that. Uh, I'm sure that the, the two guys are going to do great business together. And I say good luck to both of them. And um, uh, but but the, the the standards of what he does, his support. If you've got any questions for him, he's back like within minutes. Um, yeah, he, he's. Uh, I think he's in the process because he was based in the states when he started doing these, and he's actually moving back to Romania and he's moving his workshop and everything. And so he's kind of done a relaunch, and so it's nice because you could only get them uh, uh, directly from the states before. And Daz is yeah. saying that there's brand new designs coming too. Anyway, we've actually uh, run out of time. Tim, can I say thanks very much for coming along tonight? Uh, looking forward to That's meeting right. up with you at Vape Fest on Saturday. Uh, yeah, but until then, we got to go. So uh, good night, everybody. Say goodbye, Tim. Bye bye, Tim. <laughs> <laughs>